officers uncovering their mask policies. So we're never going to stop people from wanting to live here. Having a hard time finding a place to rent in Spokane? Why experts are calling it a housing crisis. Plus, more violence in the Middle East. And my administration is going to continue to engage Palestinians and Israelis and other regional partners to work towards sustained calm. How U.S. lawmakers are working to end tensions. Another warm sunny day today, but a big change is in the works. I'll let you know what that means as we kick off the work week. Up with Krem starts right now. Costco was one of the first stores to require masks a year ago, and now they're one of the first to do away with their mask mandate. Hey everyone, good morning, I'm Tim Pham. And I'm Jeremy Magoo. Thanks for joining us on Up With Creme on this Monday morning. We talked to Washington residents all across the board trying to make the decision whether it's time to take the mask off or still leave it on. Yeah, I saw a lot of people at Costco this weekend without masks and I kind of had to double take. It's like, whoa. Yeah, Costco was one of the ones <laughs> where it was all controversial at the yeah. start and everybody was going, oh, I don't know, I don't know. And then, hey, it, they're a business. They can do right. whatever they would like. And so as you make your way back out, had to feel weird. Yeah, it's kind of like you feel a little naked. <laughs> you know, okay. it's like, yeah. where's my, I'm missing something. Because it, it, it is, it's kind of been like our outfit for the last you know, year. So. I, you know what I have to work on? Admittedly, I have been making faces under my mask the whole <laughs> yeah. time. And so I got to stop doing that. He's got to control his faces now. Yeah. All right. Well, Washington State is following CDC guidance by lifting its mask mandate. Yeah. Now some retailers are also dropping their mask requirements. Nicole Hernandez joining us now live to explain when you can leave your face coverings at home. Hey, yeah, good morning, guys. So it's going to depend on where you're going, whether or not you're going to want to bring this out of the house. So the CDC says that people who are fully vaccinated do not have to wear their masks anymore with other fully vaccinated people. And so that means that you might not have to be wearing your mask when you go to those retail stores, unless, of course, you're in like a really crowded indoor place. So one of those places is Walmart, which is what I'm standing in front of right now. But there's a bunch of other places doing this as well. So starting today, Starbucks will also no longer require face masks, masks for customers who've gotten their shots. Walmart, Costco and Trader Joe's have similar guidances in place. However, some chains are still requiring customers and staff to keep their masks. Those are places like Fred Meyer, Target and Home Depot. More locally, Auntie's Bookstore posted on Facebook. It will still be requiring masks until further, no further notice. Following this post, Boo Radley's and Bruin shared similar posts saying they stand together in this decision. Both Boo Radley's and Bruin's told crime requiring masks for everyone is not a political decision for them. It's a decision they made as a private business to protect the health of their staff and customers. I mean, we care about our staff. They're our family and our best friends. Um, and any little thing I can do or have other people do to, to continue their safety, it's easy. I, there's no question I would definitely have people wear masks until next year if necessary. So for more information, you can text, text the word mask to 509-448-2000. We'll send you a link with more information. Live in Spokane, I'm Nicole Hernandez. Nicole, thanks so much for breaking that down. Those major retailers began to relax mask rules for the fully vaccinated people over the weekend. However, some shoppers and workers don't yet feel comfortable going into stores without one. Since the summer, everyone's still being courteous and wearing the mask because you don't know who's been fully vaccinated and who hasn't been fully vaccinated. So I think most people are being very good about it. We want just to feel secure and we want other people just to feel comfortable with us. And some are just waiting for more guidance, like what children under 12 should do. And others just say at this point they wear their mask out of habit. All right, 602 now on a Monday morning. It is already bright outside, Jeremy. Look yeah. at that. Oh, it's a beautiful morning. And Tim, earlier you said it was breezy. I think that breeze has actually picked up a bit since I was last outside. Oh. Fabulous. Well, it sounds like we got one more last nice day before it starts to cool down. Just how warm are we talking today, Jeremy? Uh, almost as warm as yesterday. Not quite. We're going to be a few degrees shy, but I think we're still up in the 80s. 
And what a beautiful start to the day over in Coeur d'Alene. Absolutely gorgeous and your temperatures there in the mid 50s. 54 in Coeur d'Alene, if you can believe it. 43 in Sandpoint, 54 here in Spokane as well. It is warm, there is no doubt about it. 56 in Moses Lake and 61 in Wenatchee this morning. Here we are in the six o'clock hour and I can say this 54 degrees is quite comfortable. Even with this breeze, it feels quite nice. And hey, yesterday, I would have given anything for this breeze as I was out walking around. I was going, all right, it's a little hot and I'm starting to sweat. I could have a breeze that would help use this sweat to cool me down and you get just that today. It's southerly, so it is a bit warm, but later on tonight, we'll start to watch that breeze shift directions and that's when things start to cool down. I think this evening, even before the sun goes down, you're going to go, hmm, something is in the works and that is a change in our weather pattern. So this morning, we're in the 50s. By the time we get to say 11 a.m., we're already in the 70s, and by this afternoon, we're in the 80s, but as that wind shifts direction, you'll start to notice those temps falling back into the 70s rather quick. And then the sun goes down, and tomorrow, we are much colder. And I'll have those details coming up in your full forecast. Jeremy, thanks so much. Time for your morning rush. More news in less time. Today is the deadline to file and pay your 2020 income taxes. Taxes were originally due in April, but was pushed to May 17th due to the pandemic. Now, if you still need more time, you can file a five month extension, but your request needs to be to the IRS by today. The painting of the mural on the new basketball court at Riverfront Park is underway. Hooptown USA, Spokane Arts and Multicare Regional Health System selected the artist Joshua Martell to paint the court. Now the mural shows a large, colorful basketball with two hands holding up the ball. Martell already finished one mural on a court at Chief Gary Park. So far, the murals are receiving great responses by the community and selection committee chose those designs because they say they were bold, graphic, inclusive, colorful, and inspiring. Well, the Gonzaga women's rowing team secured their sixth straight West Coast Conference Championship. The Zags took home the title Saturday with 40 points. The Varsity 8, Varsity 4, and second Varsity 4 all won, sending GU to their seventh trip to the NCAA Championship. The Spokane Shock made their official return this weekend to the Indoor Football League. However, the team lost to the Frisco Fighters 36-33. As a reminder, you can watch all Shock home games right here on the CW22. And that's your morning rush. More news in less time. Let us know what's happening in your neighborhood by using the hashtag UpWithCrem on social media. Let's talk about what's trending now on a Monday morning. The MTV Movie, TV, Movie and TV Awards returned last night and Marvel scored big. WandaVision took home four out of five awards, including Best Show, Best Performance in Show, Best Villain, and Best Fight. Anthony Mackie also won two awards for his role in The Falcon and the Winter Soldier and Best Hero and Best Duo. Other winners from the night include Best Performance in a Movie went to the late Chadwick Bosman for his role in Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. And Scarlett Johansson was honored with the Generation Award. Pretty awesome. Glad to see, you know, uh, people being recognized again. We're kind yeah. of turning this curve on the pandemic and movies are coming back. Oh, I'm and these so are on excited. streaming platforms, of course, at Disney Plus, but glad to see they're being recognized. Yeah, and you start to watch. I have not watched a movie trailer in a very long time because yeah. I don't want to get my hopes up to just have to wait a year. And I started watching movie trailers. I went on YouTube right. and watched a few and I went, Oh, I'm excited to go back to movies. I also with like um, I like watching binge watching and so uh -huh, I don't like uh -huh. waiting for like the rollout release. Okay. Oh my gosh, I have to wait a full week to know what's happening next. So I I'll, I'll let it build up and I'll watch <laughs> them this summer at some point. I like it. Good yeah. move. All right. Still ahead. Looking for a place to rent in Spokane. You are definitely not alone. Coming up after the break, city communications manager Kristen Davis talks to us about living and finding a new place and a housing plan that can help those in the city. And after an absolutely gorgeous weekend, we've got a change in our weather pattern that starts moving its way in. We'll let you know what that means today and as we head through the rest of the work week.